In this video tutorial, we are going to look at the key differences between Excel 2007 versus Excel 2010. Since many of you may be using Excel 2007, uh, we would like to kind of consolidate the key changes which have been affected in 2010. In these set of video tutorials which we are using in basic and advanced Excel, we are primarily using Excel 2010. So it is important for you to kind of look at these key changes. Please note that while Microsoft does come up with different versions of Excel, the changes may be significant or may not be so significant. From 2003 version to 2007 version, the changes were really significant. However, when the Excel version of 2007 versus 2010, the changes have not been so significant. There are minor changes and we'll be highlighting the top seven changes that have taken place. Number one, is the change in the office button and the file menu. We'll also look at the changes which were done in the paste function. A new function which has been introduced in pivot table which is spark line filters and we will look at what this has to offer in Excel 2010. The customized ribbon button is present in Excel 2010 so we'll also look at this main difference option of screen capture which is also available in Excel 2010 which was kind of missing in Excel 2007. The equation editor also comes with a lot of flexibility here so we'll, we will be discussing that as well and some additional elements in terms of formatting. So these are the top seven changes in Excel 2010 and we will be discussing all one by one. So let us look at the key differences between the two versions. On the left hand side you have the Excel 2007 version opened up and on the right hand side is the Excel which is opened up in Excel 2010 version. Coming to the first key difference, this is the office button on the top and once we click here in 2007 version we find that we are opening the traditional menu which contains new, open, save, save as, print, prepare send, publish, etc. Now when we look at the right hand side which actually consists of the 2010 version this office button is missing so instead we have the file menu so let's click on the file menu to see what is there so the file menu in fact looks similar to the one which was the office button in 2007 so here we find that there are different options info, recent, new print, save and send and options. So let us look at you know a couple of them in terms of key differences. So on the left hand side when we click on print we had this option called print quick print and print preview. So we could click on print and then we were then looking at the print dialog. So we can print the page from this print dialog box. Now let's click on the right hand side and click on print. Note the key differences here. On the left hand side when we were talking about the 2007 version we were to click on the office button here and we had to click on print and print again to open this dialog box. Here on the right hand side it automatically comes and we don't have to do this by clicking any button. So you will find that the preview, this, this space here actually provides the print preview as well. And all those things which are available in this dialog box on the left hand side is actually available in this space as a page setup. So this is one difference in terms of uh, the print. The other set of differences when we click on the file menu is when we click on info, the permissions and sharing and versions are uh, kind of uh, categorized differently. So when we click on protect workbook we will find that it, you can encrypt with password or protect your work structure etc. Or you can check issues with respect to compatibility here. So these have been categorized. So let's look at the 2007 version and here they are all available in a single feature called prepare. So some of the features are also missing but all these have been clubbed together under prepare. So this is the second difference here within the file menu. The third difference could be, let's click on save and send. And you'll find that this menu is visible here and you can 
save and send using an email to the web to the SharePoint or let's say you can change the file type or you can create a PDF or a XPS document however when we click on the send button here you have two options email and internet fax in fact if you download the PDF add-in you will also find the PDF option here so subtle changes save to SharePoint change file type save to web etc included here so some changes in terms of the file menu versus the office ribbon button here the second difference is with respect to the paste so let us try and paste in 2007 version and we will try to do the same thing here in 2010 version so let me type a number 12 and let's say format this a bit and I want to copy this so I can do that by right clicking and if I want to paste it when we right click we'll have two kinds of options paste and paste special so I can do a, a regular paste or I can do a paste special so paste special dialog box opens up with all different kinds of options paste value format etc so this is the paste and paste special options which are available in 2007 version now let us try to do the same thing in Excel 2010 version here so I'll type 12 and uh, I'll also format the same way it was I'll right click copy and let me paste it here and see the key difference now earlier there were two options in 2007 paste and paste special however when you look at this new menu in 2010 you will see that there are different kinds of options which are visually available here so say for example if I hover my mouse on the first option so it's in fact giving me the way paste will actually happen if I choose this option let me choose value it shows me how this function would be if I choose value so it's an excellent way to kind of you know it's actually giving me a visual appeal in terms of the actual format which will get copied across if I perform this kind of a function likewise let's go back and look at paste special function so now when I look at paste special it prompts me for different set of options with percentage with source formatting and again I also have the original dialog box which is here if I click this I see that the original dialog box also comes up so in fact if you look at this new set of option it's very interesting because it gives you an in intentional view of the thing which you are pasting with its corresponding format so let's say if I choose value it's already showing me the paste special value here so this is an exciting feature or an exciting change between 2007 and 2010 version.